if you were involved with a pathological narcissist, then understand that you were not in a normal relationship. And what I mean by that is you weren't in a mutually beneficial relationship. You were actually in an abuse cycle. Pathological narcissists do not have the ability to get into mutually beneficial relationships with people. Their relationship style is more so similar to parasitism. So this is how mosquitoes operate, leeches, tapeworms, fleas, ticks, etc. The narcissistic abuse cycle starts off with love bombing or idealization. And this is where the narcissist starts the relationship off on a high. So they may flatter you by giving you excessive false compliments. They may give you gifts, take you on trips and so on. So the idealization or the love bombing phase is what I may also call the charm to disarm phase. Because right after the idealization or the love bombing, then comes the devalue. And in the devalue phase, the narcissist pretty much switches everything around. It's kind of like a bait and switch. And here is where the verbal abuse comes in, the psychological abuse, the mind games, and so on. Then eventually follows, this follows the discard, where the narcissist, for whatever the reason, feels like you are no longer worthy and they essentially will discard you like an object because you were being objectified. And then this normally follows another phase that we call the Hoover. And the Hoover got its name from the famous vacuum company where they'll try to drag you back into the abuse cycle. So things will feel like it is up and down because you're not in a normal relationship you are in an abuse cycle or you are being trauma bonded. Essentially what you're looking at here is Stockholm syndrome. It is when victims fall in love with their abuser because initially they do not realize that this person is an abuser. So I want you to understand that there is nothing that you could have done differently. This is an abuse cycle. It is pathological. And when we're talking about pathological narcissists here, understand that anything is pathological is talking about a dis-ease or a disorder. So you're dealing with highly disordered individuals. You're talking about a severe psycho-spiritual illness. These people are highly underdeveloped souls or what the clinicians, clinicians call a personality disorder their entire personality is disordered they really did not develop adequately pathological narcissists would be closely related to unripened fruits they did not grow properly so they're already adults but beneath the veil they did not develop the adequate emotional processing skills mental processing skills and their willpowers are also compromised so they're going to be very highly impulsive and compulsive individuals. It is important to understand that you cannot have a healthy relationship with a pathological narcissist. Pathological narcissists are like Peter Pan or adult brats. They did not again develop adequately. In a narcissistic relationship, you actually more so are going to be their surrogate parent because these people, again, did not develop internally to the age of adulthood. And most pathological narcissists, again, behind the physical, are somewhere between the ages of about 5 and 12 years old. Again, we're talking about unripened fruit. They did not develop adequately. We're talking about stunted growth and there's nothing that you could have done differently to change this.